how to get featured on the Google Play Store. Hello, my name is Thomas. I'm the CEO of AppRadar and in today's video we're going to talk about how to get featured on the Google Play Store. When talking about being featured within the Google Play Store, it is important to differentiate between different types of being featured. That you are on the one hand being featured in the advertorial stuff that Google is preparing for their users out there to inform them about new apps or new trends or seasonal apps or seasonal trends that are currently happening. But on the other hand there are also other possibilities like for example the top charts that help you getting visibility within the Google Play Store. The good news is there are chances to be featured on the Google Play Store. The bad news on the other hand is that there are no real shortcuts. I'm going to tell you the four ingredients that you need to have at least to be featured on the Google Play Store. The first ingredient is that you need to have a great product. You need to have a really good app. An app that is fulfilling a use case out there and that is really delivering value to your users. In a perfect scenario, you can also use stuff that the Android operating system is providing to you as an app developer. If you're using the latest technology that Google is providing, chances are automatically rising that Google is also going to feature you because you're using the latest technology and they also want to spread the word about the latest technology. The second ingredient that you need to be featured on the Google Play Store is to have happy users. What I mean by that, quite simple. You want to build an app where your users are coming back on a regular basis. Ideally, I know that is not possible for every kind of app out there, but ideally your app has even a daily use case for your users. This means that your users are coming back to your app and opening up on a day-to-day -day basis. Why is this important? Well, first of all, you will be having awesome retention rates and a retention rate is a very important signal to Google that your app is actually something that users care about and they are coming back and back again to use it. So therefore you're showing Google that your app is being used by users out there who love your app. The third ingredient is that you have great marketing. What I mean by this is that especially in the beginning, you need to have your app up and running. There needs to be some traction. You need to have users. Or in other words, if you have built the greatest app, but nobody is really using your app, is it really the greatest app? So therefore, ask yourself the question, what can I do to actually get more users to my app? What can I do in terms of marketing to build interest for my app and get actually real users using it, as mentioned already, on a frequent level? Especially for this topic, how to get more users, on our YouTube channel you are exactly on the right place. We have a lot of other videos on our YouTube channel that are circling around this topic of how to get more users, of how to be more visible within the App Store. Which already leads me to the last point, point number four. You need to have a rock solid App Store listing to be featured on the Google Play Store. Why? Quite simple. Nowadays, App Store listings look already very professional. Screenshots are at a very high quality made for most apps out there, especially the ones that are getting the most eyeballs within the Google Play Store. So this also means to you that you should invest into creating a really cool looking app icon which you should also A-B test to figure out which one is driving the best conversions. Besides that you need to have really cool screenshots that show the value of your app to your users out there because the better the screenshots describe your app the higher the chances will be that people will be downloading and using your app. And besides that, it is also very important that you optimize your title, your short description, as well as your description for keywords that help users out there finding your app. So in other words, keywords that describe what value your users can get with your app. It is also very important if you want to be featured internationally that you localize your app store listing into various languages. 
The reason why this is important is quite simple. Because not everybody is speaking English and if you're localizing your app for example into German and also localizing your app store listing into German, the German Google Play team might pick it up for featuring within the German Google Play Store. If you like this video and if you like content like this, please give us a thumb up because this is also giving us feedback that we should produce more of this content to also deliver value to you guys out there. Also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell because then you will get a notification as soon as our next video is live. If you haven't done it yet, I would also highly recommend to move over to appradar.com and create an account over there. We are offering a free plan as well as paid plans with the goal of giving you tips of how to optimize your app store listing. So don't forget, like always, keep optimizing. The second ingredient that you need is to have a really... <laughs>